Hey guys, how you doing? Steve the Dean Williams here. Today's show is not me telling you what kind of suits to wear and things like that. And uh, that's just not my my genre that uh, I'm not, that's not my thing. But the thing that I want to talk to you today about is style. Style is just not dressing. Style is what I call function and flow. And what we're going to be talking about today is the style that one man must bring to the table and everything that he does. Let's get it. Hey guys, how you doing? Steve the Dean Williams. Welcome to the show. Uh, before we start, guys, please go ahead, hit the notification button and subscribe to the show. As soon as we put something out, you will get uh, the updates right away. Just want to give a shout out to everybody out there first off. So let's go ahead and get into it. You see a lot of guys out there are focused on style and they're focused on wearing nice clothes and things like that, which is great. I, I highly recommend you guys doing that. Now, for younger guys out there who are kind of on a budget and cannot afford all the nice clothes, what I want you to do is kind of something I, <laughs> something we did when we were like back in the 70s. Don't laugh, but I'll be honest with you. Back in the 70s, um, we used to shop at a place called Kmart and they used to have a thing called Lairway where we would get items and we would slowly, my mother would slowly pay for those items throughout the months until we paid it off and then we got it for school. I'm not saying do that. But what I'm saying to you guys out there is to go ahead and buy one piece at a time. Take some of your money and push it aside for clothes. And what I'm saying for nice clothes and some nice clothes are going to be a little bit expensive, but I don't want you to just go out there and get a wardrobe. What you do is you slowly get piece by piece. And that way you'll be able to build up your wardrobe without worrying about things uh, financially hurting you. OK, so that's just the first tip that I want to give you. But style, when it comes to style and stuff like that, it's not just the way that you dress, gentlemen. The flow has got to be from the moment the woman sees you to the moment she begins to get the experience of who you are. Maybe when you're doing selfies, voice, oh, not voice, but selfies and videos, or even going live with her. I want a woman to see that the flow that she sees from the beginning of the first interaction you have flows into your house because your house or your apartment is also style. And that's what I want to talk to you about. It's the style of how you set up your apartment or your house that has just as much flow as you would wearing a nice outfit. One of the things a lot of guys choose not to do for some odd reason, again, I want you to get tens, nines, eights, and sevens. The reason I say that is because tens, nines, eights, and sevens there is something that they love to look at or a man that has not only style but range remember range is important here too and what range is is basically artwork guys you're gonna have to expand your palette from just the posters put nice art on your wall okay and even the kind of art i love the most is nude art i mean you could get nude art not dirty filthy art but Nude art is erotic for a woman, but it's also artistic that shows the woman that you have what I call range. So getting a few pieces of art won't kill you to hang on your wall. The next thing is going to sound crazy, but even in your kitchen, as far as your dishes, your glasses or excuse me, your dishes and your forks and your knives, all these little things, your bowls. All of these things should be the exact color. And, and what you can do easily, you can go to Walmart and they have kitchen sets already. The same exact color plates. 
You don't want to have a bunch of plastic around and things like that. We want to have flow because flow is not just in the house. It's also in the bedroom. It's in the kitchen. It's in the bathroom. It's in your closet. So everything that you have, want, we want you to do is to not only show a woman that you have range as a man, but you also have style outside of just dressing nicely. It's more than just dressing nicely, guys. It's smelling good. And it's setting up your place in a way that women will find it very sexually attractive when they see a man that, now I'm not talking about metrosexual type stuff. I'm talking about a man that has his place looking tip top and it's nice, it's clean, it smells good and everything has flow, gentlemen. Also, you got to look at your furniture, your curtains, all those things have got to have flow, gentlemen. It's part of style because the thing that women do is when they walk into your house, yes, they, they, they've already got an idea of what you are, but they're going to learn more about your story when they walk into your apartment. And that's why when they walk into the apartment, I want them to see that, you know what, you are a man that has a lot of interest, but you are a well-kept man that takes care of himself. Also the bathroom, you know, I always tell you guys, the bathroom is important, you know, not just the water uh, changing colors, but also what's important is that not only do you cater to yourself, you also cater to your female guests. That's why I always tell you guys the importance of going to Walmart and going in the airport section and getting all, get two of every female item there is the little miniature things throw it all into your bathroom because when a woman comes over the first thing she's going to do is go in the bathroom and she's going to open up the medical medicine cabinet to see what kind of medical history you have number one but she's going to dig through the drawers and when she sees that drawer that has female items in there as if you've been as if you have a lot of women in there it's going to change everything but the bathroom has to be clean have your colognes and all your stuff neatly uh, on your bathroom where it looks doesn't look like you're just throwing stuff around. Remember, neatness, just like dressing, all this stuff is going to play a role when a woman comes over to your place. The next thing I want to talk about is your closet. Now, whenever you set up your closet, gentlemen, now I'm not saying that you have to get something like this, but if you look at this right here, you'll notice the watch. It's a watch holder that spins. Now, again, you don't have to be that technical. But what I'm saying to you is you want to have organization in your closet. That means all your suits and all your dress items should be lined up first in its own section. You should have your summer, your fall, your winter, all your little spots that always have order. Your jeans should be folded. And if you can, again, I don't know how big your closet is, but there are people in there that can build uh, wood closets for you that gives you a lot of places to put stuff in. Now, again, I mean, it just depends on how serious you are or if you're in a house versus an apartment. But it's very important to go ahead and separate things and have things organized because what a lot of guys don't know is that women when they go into your when they're sleeping with you and they get a chance they can't they love going into your closet and smelling your colognes and smelling how you smell uh your and put on shirts and things like that just to get your scent on them so this is all part of style but it's also part of order also in one of the last probably the last things there's just so much stuff that we can talk about but one of the last things i want to discuss to you as far as style and flow is how you cook that's why we have when she comes over that's why i tell you to watch hannibal because even though he's eating people the the dishes that he makes are are just mind-blowing in presentation and that's what style is about presentation and that's why I was saying presentation in your living room, presentation in your kitchen, presentation in your bathroom, presentation in your bedroom, but also presentation on how you cook, the way the dishes are formulated and how you or even even how you organize the food on the plate will get you more points because the average guy doesn't know this information. So what I'm just trying to say to you guys to wrap all this up 
yes, it's style is good when you're dressing nice and, and you have nice shoes and nice watch and you smell good, and things like that. But style goes beyond just looking good. It's how you set your crib up. I want your crib to be a sexual playpen. And the only way to do that is by taking some of the information I'm giving you and begin to have flow because the flow with a woman has got to be from when she first meets you to maybe when she's on a date with you to coming over to your place. That's the flow that we want her to have because we want to make sure what she sees from the, on the outside reinforces itself when she comes over. And when a woman sees that kind of stuff, it's going to turn her on faster than a woman that doesn't see that stuff. Trust me, women love men that are well kept, groomed and have order in their place. So, guys, just soak up that information and think about what I'm saying. OK, if you have any questions, get at me at the man mindset at Gmail dot com. But guys, just remember, style is not just the way you dress. Style has to be in everything that you do. Thank you.